I'm going to try something new for this video. I'm going to connect one of the modular buildings from different LEGO themes. Well, first off, what is a modular building for LEGO? Well, a modular building is something that you find in the LEGO Creator Expert slash Icon Steam. And one of the buildings has Technic pins on the side that you can connect. Take the Boutique Hotel, for example. And on both sides, we have Technic pins in those Technic pin holes right there and there. And this can actually connect to other buildings like, say, the Gas Club, Corner Garage, and anything else. So not only that we're going to connect the Boutique Hotel to those buildings, but we're also going to try to connect this to other buildings throughout those different LEGO themes. For the license sets, we have two of the four buildings that are found in the LEGO Harry Potter Diagon Alice set from 2020. And each of those buildings does have one Technic pin hole on both sides. And as you can see, you can connect them just like this in a straight line. Then there are two holes on the back that you can close them up all together just like that. Then we have the Sesame Street set from LEGO Ideas. And yes, to the left of the Hooper Store building, we do have two Technic pin holes right there, which could mean that we could get a new expansion to this set sometime soon if we're going to get Grover and the Count. You know, those missing characters. And then we also have one of the Ninjago City sets. This one is Ninjago City Docks, and you can connect this to the original Ninjago City set from the Ninjago movie. And you can also connect this to the Ninjago City Gardens and the new market set. And yeah, that also has Technic pins on this side right here. And there are some more holes right there. So let's see what happens when you connect a Creator Expert building and a licensed building. And I can't wait to see what combinations we can make. Can one of the Creator Expert modular buildings connect to one of the Ninjago City sets? The answer is... Yes! You can connect a Creator Expert building to a Ninjago City building. And that's just what happens when you connect a non-licensed building to a licensed building to mix up your LEGO City. Clever, isn't it? And also, why are there some sidewalk tiles and some water tiles right next to one another? So it doesn't matter what you can combine with. <laughs> All right, now let's try something else. Well, a Creator Expert modular building connect to a Diagon Alley building. The answer is... Yes! And just like Ninjago City, you can't connect a Creator Expert building to those Diagon Alley buildings. And this is what it looks like from the front and the back. Especially those two half buildings are actually facades, I guess. Oh, and one thing that I found interesting is that those two 1x2 bricks with Technic paint holes are actually 10 studs wide. As you can see from Ninjago City, a Creator Expert building, and a Diagon Alley building. And I think all these actually sit on those 32x32 32 32 base plates. Okay, this is going to be the last one for this video. Will a Creator Expert modular building connect to one of the Sesame Street buildings? The answer is... Now, You see right there? You cannot connect a modular building to one of the Sesame Street buildings. And as you can see, those Technic pin holes are actually a little higher compared to those modular building holes. Also, one difference that I found is that the sidewalk for the modular buildings does have some tiles above that base plate. And for the sidewalk for Sesame Street, it does have some plates on top, but it does not have a base plate on the bottom. 
weird. But that includes the video, and that's how you connect non-licensed LEGO buildings to other licensed buildings. If any of you can try this on your own, I would love to see what you come up with. But thank you all so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the Brick My Z channel if you haven't already for more LEGO videos. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.